Welcome to ECG challenge number five. Please use seven step approach for systematic analysis. You will see many images of the same ECG. Pause the video if you need more time. What is the diagnosis? The correct answer is multiple ventricular premature contractions or VPCs and few atrial premature contractions or APCs. Now, we will briefly discuss premature contractions starting with ventricular premature contractions, which are identified by QRS complexes that have an abnormal shape. They tend to be longer than the normal duration, usually more than 120 millisecond. These are followed by a compensatory pause. P wave will be absent and the T-wave is commonly large and oriented in the opposite direction to the main deflection of the QRS. In ventricular premature contraction, the heartbeat is initiated by the Purkinje fibers rather than the sinoatrial node. They can occur in isolation or in repeated patterns, three or more consecutive PVCs being classified as ventricular tachycardia. In ventricular begemony, as seen in this ECG challenge, each normal QRS complex is followed by a premature ventricular contraction. Common causes of PVCs include excess caffeine consumption, excess catecholamines, and electrolyte abnormalities. PVCs can also be caused by structural heart diseases and non-cardiac pathologies such as hyperthyroidism, anemia, and hypertension. Treatment for PVCs is usually not needed unless the patient is experiencing symptoms or has an underlying heart condition. Treatment options include lifestyle changes, medication like beta blockers and calcium channel blockers, and invasive procedures like catheter ablation. Let us now briefly discuss atrial premature contractions, or APCs. They are initiated by atrial myocardium, but do not originate from the SA node. They are characterized by premature P wave and the QRS complex, which appears similar to the underlying QRS complex morphology. They are followed by compensatory pause. Most premature atrial contractions are relatively harmless, but if they occur frequently, they can increase the risk of both cardiac and all-cause mortality. Additionally, frequent premature atrial contractions are also linked to a higher likelihood of developing atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next ECG challenge. Till then, take care and goodbye.